everyone. Today we are on a farm near Rapid City with Corey who is a sheep shearer. We're gonna learn all the things today about sheep shearing. So first of all, tell me how you got into this business. Well, I was about 16 years old when I started shearing. My dad was a sheep shearer. He ran a crew out of Belfu, South Dakota. And um, I just picked it up and started shearing with him, so. So it's like a generational thing for you. It kind of is, yeah. And there were some more sheep shearers down the line in our family too, so it is kind of a thing. Okay, yeah. and you have a few other people working with you. Yes, we have like a six-man crew. So tell me a little bit about how the operation goes. Okay, well from front to back, let's say, probably from back to front. Okay. We've got the sheep lined up back here. Okay. And um, we usually have like the rancher pushing them up the chute and into the trailer. Mm -hmm. And then we have like little drop down doors. Yep. And so they got to keep them up in there and just keep a steady supply of sheep for us. And then we'll shear them and kick them out the back. And then the wool comes out the front. It goes into a wool sacker. So after it hits, what is this is called like a wool press or what is this called? It is a wool press, yes. Okay. So then after that, where does it go? From there, um, around here, most people would take it to like center of the nation wool in Belfouche. Mm -hmm. There's some other wool co-ops around the state as well, but a lot of people do bring it here to Belfouche. Okay, but it's a it's a rather fast process. You mentioned like under five minutes, really. Most of the time, yes. Unless you get a tough one, it can take up to, you know, five, six, seven minutes. That's a hard shearing sheep, but usually like two minutes, roughly yeah. two and a half at the most. So now sometimes it looks like, I mean, you're having to not wrestle them a little bit, but sort of make them comfortable, right? Right, you wanna make them as comfortable as possible. Try not to fight them because then they're just gonna fight you more. So it's more about positioning and holding them and you know, and then holding them in the right position. You know, it's all about footwork and um, their center of balance. You wanna keep them kind of on their center of balance. So you always have control of them. If they get too far out of center of balance, they can just roll out of position and get up on you really easily, so. Kind of what do you say to folks who might think, wow, this looks like it might be hurting the sheep. I mean, I feel like it's a lot like shaving, sort of. Right, yeah. right. Most of the time, you know, it really doesn't hurt the sheep. Even though it seems like it might be aggressive or uncomfortable, they may be a little bit uncomfortable. They are big, but um, for the most part, it doesn't really hurt them. And if they get a little nick on them, you know, for us, it would be likened to a shaving nick. You know, it just, their skin is thick and they have lanolin, it heals right up. So is, is this sheep shearing time of year or what's that season look like? It is, uh, well for us here, like in the Midwest or whatever in South Dakota, it's like mid-January through the end of May and maybe into June is our okay. main shearing season. But there are folks that shear year round in the United States. So now is this a traveling set sort of mobile? You take this wherever you go? Yep, it's okay. a mobile setup. Um, we're on the road and we're on the road every day. We're driving, you know, every single day, usually a different job. We're usually home every night, which is nice. Most ranchers would have, I'd say on average, you know, our average flock that we do is probably three to 500 sheep. Oh wow, okay. Okay, and then we get into some that have several thousand sheep. So, and then we might pull in there and be there for a couple days, but you know, we can easily shear six or 700 out of this trailer in a day if we need to. Yeah, I feel like there's just something gratifying about watching a sheep being sheared. Be, because the lines and then all that wool is off, and don't you think they just feel better? I mean, I think so. I mean, they look happy to me. <laughs> and they're about 10, 12 pounds lighter too, so I don't know how that couldn't feel good just to get all that heavy. And plus it's going into summer and they'd be getting hot. So now you actually started a TikTok account. I did. Now where can folks find that? What's the handle? Just at Corey Bricker on TikTok. I have a lot of people that dislike what we do on the TikTok. They think it's, you know, we shouldn't even be doing this with animals. And the thing is, is it's just like our way of life, you know, and I was brought up doing, you know, raising sheep and shearing them, you know, and it's very satisfying work to me. Yeah, no, I mean, I feel like it's, it, there's a lot of hard work that goes into this. It is very hard. Yeah. I mean, when you've got big 250 pound sheep all day long, and let's say they shear hard, some sheep shear good and they're mm -hmm. easy to shear. Mm -hmm. Some sheep have a lot of lanolin in their wool and maybe dirt and debris or hay, and they're just sticky and harder to shear. Yeah. So their feet are, can get a little punchy. <laughs> I've actually been kicked in the face by a sheep. And this was probably like five or six years ago. Ow. And I was coming down the last side and you wouldn't even think their leg would kick out backwards, right? Well, it came straight up and it got me right here in the face. And uh, to this day, my face is still has nerve damage. Oh my goodness. Yeah, so it. yeah, you can get kicked pretty good. Right. All right, Corey, well, thanks for your time today. Thank you, Anya. <laughs> you bet.